Hey Capricorn, let's see what's coming up for you guys on this new moon in Aries. Now the Aries energy squares Capricorn naturally because they're both cardinal signs. So go look at transits to see how it's going to affect you personally. This is just going to be a small overview, okay? All right, let's get into it. How is this full moon going to affect Capricorn personally? Ooh, wow. That's a lot, but we are only taking this one. All right. How is this full moon going to affect Capricorn um, at home? How is this full moon going to affect Capricorn at home? How is this full moon going to affect Capricorn partnership? How is this full moon going to affect Capricorn in career? We're only taking one, and I only saw that one, so... I saw another one overturned. Hold on. Okay. All right. The overall energy, Page of Swords. Okay. Okay. So there's something you definitely are um, inquisitive about. Hmm. Okay, so whatever your wish is, you are having to restrain yourself. You're trying to, um, both of these energies tell me that you're trying to hold yourself back. Or you, this is you trying to hold yourself back because you feel like it's not time. There's something that you feel is not time. It may occasionally bring you anxiety with these two. Whatever it is, it's a it's a wish, it's something you've really wanted. If you look at both of these have alcohol and sweets. There's cupcakes here, there's a martini, chocolate cake and wine. So I feel like you feel whatever this wish is, it's an indulgence. Like it's that's why you don't want to move forward. You feel like it's not it's not a need, it's more a want. But you're definitely collecting information on it. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of happiness there. Um, but you see it like an indulgence. So I don't know. Maybe it's a vacation you have your eye on. Maybe it's a uh, new car, a new house. Whatever it is, you are in the energy of, I don't need it. So I need to like chill. I don't know what it is. Now, for yourself, you are in Page of Pentacles mode, which is awesome. Page of Pentacles, to me, especially when it comes up in the energy of, of self, of me, it means that you may be learning a new skill. Uh, you may be taking classes to learn a new skill. Um, you're exploring something within yourself. Not only that, I feel like you're also putting a lot more effort into your appearance. Um, you may be giving yourself a new look. You may be updating your wardrobe. You may be going to get a haircut, going to dye your hair. Um, but you're definitely putting effort into you. Let's see. Let's use the um, Gilded Tarot. Clarify. Page of Pentacles. Hangman. Eight of Pentacles. And the Hermit, the High Priestess. So I feel like you are, whatever it is you're waiting on, whatever you're saying it's not yet, you're going off of your intuition. You're waiting to hit a certain goal. Yeah. You're, you're waiting for some sort of achievement before you allow whatever indulgence this is. So you're delaying your indulgence, let's see, <laughs> or delaying your wish. But you are putting in the work to build Mainwell because the eight and then the page eventually goes to the 10, right? Eight, nine, 10. So you're not here yet. This is what your goal is. So you're kind of, kind of delaying, you're waiting. You're holding yourself back. Even if whatever delay this is, is making you feel not great. <sighs> not great um, but you're still like I just know it's not time yet so I have to wait let's look at the judgment this is at home at home you are making heavy decisions judgment is something that you've been deliberating on for a really long time it's a major arcana 
it's a number 20. To me, that's significant because it means 10 twice. So you may have been thinking about this, came to a conclusion, allowed it to continue. Maybe you brought it back to life. And now again, you're making a decision on something and it's final. Let's see. Clarify judgment. Or you're bringing something back to life. Let's see. Clarify judgment. We've got the emperor, two of swords. And page of wands with the nine of pentacles hmm. so at home hmm this is interesting because you're kind of you're kind of oh okay you're kind of portraying yourself single but the emperor almost, unless it means an entrepreneur, that could be it. Maybe you're going to start running a business from home. Whatever it is you're building, it's something that you think is going to give you a lot of accomplishments, but you're not there yet. In fact, look at the leaps. There's three, five, and then nine and pentacles. So I think that you've already done this part. You have dedicated yourself to this because over here you're showing up with the eight. So the three and the five, you've got them down. Five, I think, means you've been depriving yourself of certain things so that you can build because you're obsessed with whatever this is, building this accomplishment. It's going to get you to the nine of pentacles and then eventually the ten of pentacles, right? So, so I think that this full moon might help you reach the nine of pentacles because the eight goes to the nine with these two. So I still think you're you're making a decision, but you're not communicating all of it. The Two of Swords is holding information back. It's a Libra Moon card. So you're being diplomatic about something. So you're sharing what you think needs to be known. And you're holding back information that makes you uncomfortable sharing. With the Page of Wands, though, I think that whatever it is, it's really stepping, I can't talk. It's, it's almost, I don't want to say it's forcing you because it's not forcing you, but it's like getting you into the energy of wanting to step out of your comfort zone because that's what the page is. You're undecided, though. You've been undecided, but then it's like all of a sudden you step into emperor mode, like beast mode. You make a decision like, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I don't know what it is, though. It's going to it's going to vary. But you've been building on this. You've been obsessed with building this because we've got the eight here, remember, for a while. So whatever it is, it's going to go public and there's no turning back. Let's look at the Ten of Wands. Clarify Ten of Wands. Capricorn. This is in partnership. Seven of Cups, Justice, Seven of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Swords. This is the energy that was over here. Remember? Hold on. I show you. Remember we had the, there we go, the Star and the Eight of Swords. The wish you're holding back from, the wish you're delaying. So again, here's this wish. Whatever whatever this is, it gives you a lot of hope, but you're still holding yourself back in partnership. Uh, so this could be a person, but this could also be a business partnership. Whatever it is, you're also not letting go with the Four of Pentacles. You have a lot of emotion towards that. You're not letting, yeah, you're, this isn't something that's going to make you quit. It's a wish come true. You're like, I am not letting go of this. Um... So we literally have the Libra card here, which is the seventh house of partnership. So I don't think this is multiple options because I feel like there's one goal you have, one, op one main option, one. So there's a person, I think, that could be a wish come true for you. You have a lot of fantasies regarding this, this connection. You, it's like you've, you have this 
daydreams about how this is going to go. But that could be what this is. You may be delaying it because the justice card is about there's something that you don't think you can give yet. And this person will and you don't think it's balanced yet. So you're waiting like you're slowly building up. Remember, we had the eight over here. So this is before the eight. Seven is building up to it. Eight is more work. And then the nine of pentacles came out. So you're you are moving forward. Whatever this thing is, there's a lot of responsibility. Um, but it's like you're ready. You're in emperor mode. For, I don't know. I don't know that I, well, for a select few, this could indicate divorce. Seven of Cups could be uh, illusions that were shattered. Divorce. Seven of Pentacles, realizing that whatever you're putting your energy into isn't paying off anymore. And you want to move forward. You want to move away from this. Of course, this could also be a business partnership, but it is a partnership. So you may be moving away from something towards something else or away from something. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're focusing on... Okay, okay. A whole new storyline just clarified. The thread got real. <laughs> Some of you may be getting a divorce walking away from a commitment but you're not walking towards something else yet because you need to clarify this you need to sort this out um and for others it's a business partnership that has to be sorted out before you can move forward let's look at the three of pentacles this is going to be in your career so three of pentacles you're definitely building remember the three and the five came up with the devil um, I think it definitely touches on the home axis. So let's see. Clarify three of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify three of pentacles. Ooh, and there's the devil again. With the ace of wands. Ten of wands, the lovers, the hierophant, and the devil. So whatever this is in career, you're, you're pretty obsessed with building it. You're very passionate about it. Wow. You're very clear, too, on what you want. Damn. So during this full moon, you could get some sort of really big inspiration on how to move this forward. Um, Ten of Wands is connected to this. So whatever responsibility you have, in partnership, it's going to reflect in your career. Now, again, this could be a business partnership. This could be you and somebody else coming together. Both of you have different skills. You're creating something. Um, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. You're creating something solid. Something, uh, un it feels unbreakable. This is Taurus energy. So this is very solid. Um, you want to make sure that this is unbreakable. So, of course, if it's a career thing, I I understand. Uh, you're making sure the foundation is solid because you don't want it to crumble. You don't want it to fall apart. So I think that you may get some sudden understanding of how to do that with these two or some inspiration on how to do that. So delayed gratification that's really i mean that's capricorn strong suit right you're delaying gratification so that you can have something really stable long term and that makes sense so um keep up the good work capricorn you're doing amazing uh that's something about this full moon is going to kind of jump start like you're going to get a quantum leap with this full moon so i'm going to go ahead and end the reading there i wish you the best of luck and see you guys later Bye bye